go in with. I really like the shimmers in the shade. The shimmers in the shade. Hello you all. Thank you guys so much for returning back to watch another video. In this video, this will be a talk through. I don't know exactly what I'm going to do. Let's just check out my nails really quickly. Aren't they so cute? So anyways, um, and then I switched up my hair. I don't know how my hair look on camera. It was supposed to be like a, like a, um, a finger wavy type of ish wig, but I thought that it was too structured, so I went on ahead and just kind of scribbled it, scrambled it kind of just to make it, you know, my own and look a little bit more realistic. So that's what we're doing for today. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So I already based my eyelids with the Juvia's Place Eye and Magic Concealer in the shade number nine. So for my transition shade, I'm going to be going in with the Morphe X Jaclyn Hill palette. And this is the first palette that she came out with with Morphe. And I think I'm going to take, I'm going to take the shade right here. This one is called Hunt. This one is called Hunt. I'm going to be putting this in my crease. I'm going to use it as my transition shade today. So this is what we have so far and I really like this transition shade. I absolutely love the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. So I'm going to use this shade right here called Chip from the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette or Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to be putting this in my crease to kind of deepen it up. I'm going to kind of just be swatching this. I'm going to go back and forth with swiping motions, but I'm not going to take this all the way into my inner corner. I'm going to just want to keep it on the outer corner underneath my brow bone in my crease. So I just want to kind of darken that up and just let you all know that that's what I'm doing. I'm not taking it all the way in. I'm just going to keep it on the outer corner. So how was you all Thanksgiving? How was you all Thanksgiving? Let me know down in the comments how your Thanksgiving was. Mine was pretty good. It was a little bit hectic, but it was pretty good. Um, as you all know, Thanksgiving always is one of those. This Thanksgiving and Christmas are always the holidays whereby it's a lot of it's surrounded by family issues and dramas and things like that and things that have happened. Um, so my Thanksgiving was, it was pleasant actually. I had Thanksgiving at my mom's house. It was just quaint. It wasn't even a lot of us. It was me, my children. It was just the immediate family. Us, two of my brothers were not, some of my brothers and sisters wasn't there, but all in all, it was still, it was still good. It was still a good Thanksgiving. We had a lot of food and, um, it was a lot of food actually. We had a lot of food. We had corn on the cob, macaroni and cheese, baked beans. We had corn on the cob, baked macaroni and cheese, baked beans, um, corn stuffing, sweet potato pie, pumpkin pie, cherry pie, homemade chocolate cake. The pies were homemade as well. Um, what else did we have? We had um, sweet potatoes. Candy, which is candy yams, we have candy yams, double egg, baked beans, we have green beans, we have kale greens, we had um, fried chicken, 
We had biscuit. We had turkey. We also had roast beef. Like, it's like a roast beef kind of stew. And um, sodas and things like that. And it was pretty good. We had a lot of food left. A lot. And it was just unfortunate that we couldn't spend it with our whole family like we did last year because of, you know, the 19 and everything that's going on. Now I'm going to go into my Pat McGrath Celestial Divinity Palette. And um, I'm going to go in with, I really like the shimmers in the shade. The shimmers in the shade. I really like the shimmers in this eyeshadow palette. They are really, really pretty. Super beautiful. Perfect for the holidays. So now I'm going to go ahead and go in with this shade right here and this one is called gold standard i'm going to be placing this right on my eyelid i'm going to i'm going to spray my brush not that i need to spray it but i just it's just a habit to be honest with you the shade is so pretty wow it's extremely pigmented like I said and very very beautiful so I'm just going to put this right here I'm not even going to take it all the way out here I'm just going to leave it right here this color is so beautiful now if I was to do a everyday glam a everyday full-on glam look this is the type of shadow that I would use on a daily basis with this palette right here this palette is a palette I would use every single day like if I was still working at Mac if I was working in any type of beauty industry, as far as like Max, Sephora, Macy's, whatever the case may be, this is a palette I would use every single day. I wouldn't even go out of the box with this using like blues and things like that and greens, but the way that this green is set up and this gold and these colors in here, I would use this every day going to work. Anybody who knows me knows that this palette is t totally me, 100%. You would say, oh, that's her everyday right there. But because this is my everyday full-on glam eyeshadow palette that I would use every day. The average girl might use something a little bit more neutral, not so shimmery, you know what I mean? But that's not me. So now I'm going to go in and do a little bit more blending. I'm just going to... Without putting anything on the brush, I'm just going to go in and blend it up a little bit more. Just so it can be blended and not looking like, okay, you know. Yes, I want you to see the different shades in my eyeshadow. Yes, I do. Absolutely, I do. But they have to be blended, okay? So I'm just going in. I'm just basically blending out the shade. I'm going to take that first brush that I put on my first transition shade. I'm just going to blend out the edges. Just so it don't look too harsh, you know. So this is basically the eye look. I'm going to be using the Milk Makeup Hydro Grip Primer to prime my face. For my foundation, I'm going to be using the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Foundation. This is the liquid one. We love her. multi-use concealer super coverage I use this in my last tutorial and I really like the coverage and I love the color so I'm going to be using this again
now I'm going to be taking the Fenty Beauty Matchstick. Mine is in the shade Espresso to cream contour my face. Give me some definition. You always want to blend it up, never down. How you become snatched. You are snatched when you do this technique. So now I'm going to be setting my under eyes using my Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Powder and I'm going to be setting under my eyes with this powder today. I'm going to go in with my Sephora Micro Smooth Powder and mine is in the shade Deep. I think they should make these a little bit darker because they're not dark enough and this is really not deep. But I'm going to be using, it's supposed to be like a mimic or a rendition or a replica of the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Powder in my opinion. Um, I'm going to be using this to set my whole face today. Something new. Now I'm going to be using the, the Urban Decay Naked Skin Shape Shifter Palette. This has a powder version, of, has a powder side, and then it also has a cream side as well. I really like this palette a lot. I don't use the cream side as much, but I do sometimes use the powder side for my contour. I'm going to be using this shade right here, maybe this one, but this shade right here for my, um, just to shape up my face a little bit more. And this is deep. I know it doesn't look deep, but it's deep. going with my CoverGirl So Flush Blush. I'm going to be using my LA Girl Shimmer Spray Finishing Spray for Face and Body to Spray my face and set my makeup because I know I'm, I know I'm looking powdery, but that's okay. I'm going to be going in now with the the Bomb Cosmetics, the Manizer Sisters, aka the Luminizers, and I'm going to go in with Mary Luminizer and Betty Luminizer. Mary Luminizer and Betty Luminizer.
So I popped on my lashes. These are, of course, my lashes in the style baby girl. I just keep using them. You can wear them over and over and over again, and they still look good. I love the flare of them. I love how they look. I love how they're full, but you can still see my eyeshadow. They just make my eyes just so much beautiful, more bigger, more brighter. So I love these lashes, and I wear them a lot. These are the style baby girl. Again, you can check these out on my website. So now I'm going to go ahead and finish off my look. I'm going to do my lips. I'm going to be adding the Chestnut Lip Liner from MAC. This is from MAC. This is the MAC Retro Matte Liquid Lipstick in Ladies Be Good. I'm going to be using this for my liquid lipstick today. Next, I'm going to go in with my gloss. It's called Bear With Me, and I'm going to be using this as my gloss for today. So this is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you. I hope that you enjoyed this look. I hope that you enjoyed this makeup tutorial. Let me know what it is that you liked about this video. Let me know what it is. Was it the hair? Did you like the hair? Did you like the eyes, the lips, the look, the everything? Let me know down in the comments exactly what you liked about this video. Let me know if y'all feeling this hair because if y'all feeling it, then I'm feeling it and I can wear it again. But let me know what y'all think about this whole entire look down in the comments. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. Click the notification bell so that you'll be notified every time I upload a video. Also, too, make sure that you like this video. Give this video a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.